what becomes from this Opal Valley monster piece. Watch till the end. I guarantee the results will surprise you. Difficult card with a unique beauty. You can see I drew lines where the color bars run and they change direction. So it's a difficult opal and it's cracky as well. And it's uh, the Opal Valley is known for the cracky opal. But let's see how many stones, if any, we're gonna end up with this. I mean, the colors, as you can see, are beautiful. And I'm hoping that they will make one or two nice gems. So I'm gonna go to the slicer. Firstly, I'm gonna take off this corner here and see what we can do with this bar. And then I'm gonna progress from there. Slice along the color bars kind of on angles to maximize the possibility of good color saturation on a stone. So let's go and do that. I'll go on the slicer and then I'll come back, show you what we end up with. And then we go on the wheels. Hopefully we have something to grind and polish. Okay, so now you can see in the middle of the giant beast, this is its guts. There you go. That's what you get with those two pieces. See that nice jelly pattern there and there? So that's inside. Then we've got on the outside color. We still got color on the edge there and there. That's, that's here a little bit ugly. So I'm thinking not too traditional. I'm thinking of making two vertical pendants that have color all around. Again, I love the uniqueness and more natural look when you don't have a high grade quality opal um, and just making something unusual. And this is shaping up to be that. Um, this needs to be, I might cut this off where this crack is so I'll cut that end off here. There's not much, there's a bit of color there. Uh, see what happens, but I'll cut this off and get to the this color bar here. And then I'll work with this. This one's got a crack too. So we're gonna have to grind this a little bit down and shape it. But I think they're gonna be quite interesting. So, and this one, that's the edge that I cut off. You, you see that inside there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a color here, but inside there, there's actually not very bright, but fainted, yeah, there. A little bit of red and green. So I'm gonna try to take this off and see if we can make something out of it. I don't really hold my hopes for that. Might just make some chips in here but uh let's see so that's what we've got we've got the five pieces sorry three pieces that could become five but at the moment i'm swinging towards the vertical so i'm gonna go on the machine and see what happens all right let's go and do that yeah, so looking at this now different light front of the machine already changed my mind there's too many cracks here um, as this opal is known for, so I can see that it's not gonna be a vertical. Let's, uh, I'll start grinding it, but I can just see we're gonna end up with multi stones here. So I changed my mind with the verticals. Maybe we ended up with one piece from the other one as a sort of half of it could be a bigger vertical, um, interesting piece, but um, yeah, that's. We're going to ignore those vertical comments from beginning and we're probably going to end up slicing into multi stones. But uh, I'll speed it up, put some cool music on 
And let's see at the end with this one what happens after I expose the colors. Okay, here we go. So after uh, cleaning it all up, this is what we end up with, and it's just the top here has a nice color, and it's got those vertical bars running, so I'm just touching it up, just to expose that for you guys and for me, and you can see it's got a little bit of imperfection there, but that top is shaping up to make a stone, and I think I'm just going to slice it halfway through in between those bars so the top will make one stone and maybe the other side will make another so let's let's see what happens I'll go and slice it okay after slicing there are two pieces this is one of them so that's our top and there is also color there so I'm gonna slice it again to see if that piece will make two stones still. Okay, let's go slice it again. Okay, after slicing it again, we ended up with this piece that's got that thin color bar on top with the imperfection. So I'm just gonna clean it up. And this piece here, which has color on top there. So let's go and grind them. I'll speed it up here and put some music on. Okay, so we ended up with... Uh, this little stone that still needs a clean up. This one, which was the top. It's got nice color, as you can see. So two of those. And still got that webbing of the sand in the middle. So we're going to have to get the torch out later and have a look. That might become uh, a smaller stone. But those two are pretty cool. They've got nice crystally colors. It's not crystal, but it's got the properties there. And uh, we also ended up from the other piece in this little piece. But as you can see, it's got the sand on top. So it's just going to become well, two thirds of that stone. And we're going to have some more work on them later on. But um, for now, let's have a look at this other bigger piece that we cut off see what we do with that all right so that's what we've got and I'm just gonna go clean it up and then later on we'll make decisions on this stone so I'll just speed this up as I'm cleaning it up put some music on again Just a quick recap here. Um, so this little one is double-sided. It's gonna be nice. I just clean it up for the dop stick. Couple of carrots here with reds and greens, bit of a flagstone and pink fire there. So that's all right. Uh, then we've got the beast, still the biggest piece. I don't know if you can see it but there's a crack running through it. And actually I'll do it this way. There is a crack there and it runs through it. So I'm gonna cut this off along there, there, there. 
and see how many little stones we get out of this. It's got color, but as you can see, it's still running in all sorts of places. So I need to get rid of this piece. I don't think that will make anything. I'm gonna to try to keep the color in there. Uh, so I'll go and do that. And then we've got this piece, which has beautiful colors on this side, but this sand here and a bit of webbing inside and goes inside. Let me actually see if I can get the torch for you. See that? You can clearly see what's happening here. So this will make a half a stone of that here. This is going to be cut in half. Maybe we salvage something in there, but I'm not sure. And then the last little piece is this which has got nice color too, but in there, it has, again, under the torch, you can see a sand spot that runs through it. So it's only gonna end up being somewhere there. So I'll go and do all these things, and then we'll revisit after the work is done. Okay, so the results are in. After cleaning it up, I got it ready for the dop stick. And they're not bad, not bad results at all. By the way, um, thank you very much for uh, the comments and every um, involvement in my channel and those videos. And please, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and join our community if you like to be notified of more of those videos. And um, yeah, give me a like, ask anything. If I can help you with anything, I will. I attend to all the comments. So that would be great. And we continue growing together. Now, this is the result. So we've got five little ones. they between 0.8 and 1.4 carats. And actually the results are pretty good. So that's the first one. I've cleaned it up. I got that sand spot that was at the end there. And it's a nice jelly-like not quite crystal but has a crystal tone to it um, and that's gonna make a nice piece another one here free form beautiful double sided hope you can see it well there you go plenty of color in this one actually they've got very good color surprised me how much color there is in them so that's another one then we've got this little beautiful piece that's the smallest one it's got this jelly color but it's got color right through it there you go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. love this candy this is the smallest piece rectangle so much red in them i love the red and then this one which is a round beautiful piece for ring or earring it's gonna have high dome and look at that it's got that jelly pattern yeah there is a just on the side that crack is just on the side yeah a couple of them kept cracking on me that's why they kept being smaller and that's the nature of Opal Valley or Virgin Valley, some call. There's a lot of cracks in it, but the color is beautiful. That's, oh yeah, there you can see that. So I need to actually bring that in. It runs to here, but that's what we've got. It's also color on both sides, but this is the facing stone. I'm really happy with this one. And then we still got this which I left as is because I think this is a cracking expression of opal because if you have a look at it, look at that. It's got this beautiful jelly bar in there. It's got crystal bars of blue, red, green, all the colors around. It's got pin fire there, vertical in here, 
and you could just make a stone on the top here but you know what i could slice it there make a stone in there in there this is 12 carats and i'm just gonna leave it i really like the different patterns and lines and you know a lot of times i keep cutting them and then some of you say oh i would have just left it as this well guess what this one i'm leaving as is yeah see there's got this pot here that um can maybe come out but it's just depending how you shape it and i'm gonna think about it maybe use a dremel um and yeah have a look at it look at this vertical colors yeah 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 and that so many different aspects and that's your typical opal opal valley 12 carats in here crystal and jelly in one piece look at that very very interesting i really like it so thank you guys this is what has become from the opal beast encounter and the difficulty but whatever it is with opal it's always beautiful and this is I, I can't tell you enough how much I love it just because it's different okay so thank you very much for watching uh, and I see you on the next one